Hey everyone, thanks for joining Learn to Play Games. My name is Lance, and today I'll look at a brand new game coming to Kickstarter called Neomorphosis Infestation. This is a new game from Dark Gate Games Entertainment. It is a one to four player game that takes roughly one to two hours to play, and is a fully cooperative game where all the players are working together to defeat the game itself. In this video, I'll be playing through the game, showing you the first, middle, and end few turns to show you how the game plays and progresses. Now, if you're just interested in an overview, I'll have a link up in the top corner to that where I'll show you the main features of the game and then just play through one sample round to show you how the game roughly plays. As always, if you find these videos helpful, if you like what I do, please consider that like button subscribing to my channel. It's one of the easiest ways you can support channels like mine so I can continue to grow and produce this content. And if you want to stay on all my videos, also considering that bell so you get notifications anytime I release new content. So let's head to the table, and we'll see how this game plays. So before getting into the game, I want to go through the objectives of this particular mission. So with this one, the ventilation system is going critical, and in order to stabilize it, the crew must open the outer door to stabilize the oxygen levels and regain control of the system. In order to do that, the first thing they have to do is open up this door that is locked, and they have to get into these two rooms and flip these switches during the same round to unlock that door. Once they've unlocked the door, they're going to make their way into this final room where they can gain the pass key and use the terminal to open up the outer door. But in order to do that, they must also make sure that this room is secure, which means that no crew members can be in the room, and both of the doors must be closed. They have to do all of that before either they have to place out an emergency and all the emergency panels are full, or if all of the crew members are knocked out. If they can do that, then they have won the game. Otherwise, if either one of those other two conditions come up, then the players have lost the game. With this one as well, the timer is going to start further down the track as the ventilation system is going critical and time is of the essence, so the players must hurry in order to accomplish these goals. Moving into the game, each round is broken down into four different phases. The first phase that we're going to start the round with is the start of round phase, and this is going to focus around the emergency panel. So first off, you're going to check to see if any emergencies are at critical status, and if they are, you're going to have to resolve the effects of those. From there, then any emergencies that are currently active, you'll escalate their markers, moving them down one space towards their critical status. Then you're going to check to see if there are any compromised sectors. If there are, you're going to have to handle the effects of those. And then you're going to check your time tracker. If it's on the bottom of the track, then the time is running out and you're going to add a new emergency to the emergency panel. From there, then any emergencies that have not been revealed yet on the panel are going to be revealed and you'll set those up and I'll show you how to do that later. Finally, the each of the crew members, if there are any recovering, you get to flip that token over or remove that token and let them fully recover their status. Once that phase is done, then we're going to move into the crew phase. The beginning of the crew phase, you're going to handle the xenobiology tokens. And this is a new feature. With these, each one of them has four different symbols on it. And you're going to match those up, pairing them up with other symbols of the same kind to get bonuses, whether it's for attacking or defending certain types of xenos that are coming at you. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up. And I will do... I'm going to place this one first and that one to line up the green so I can get a plus one attack bonus against the pods. And then I definitely want some help with the rippers as those guys can be pretty nasty. So this will give me plus two on the rippers. And then I'm going to go ahead and place this one here and that'll give me a plus one attack on worms so that'll help me with most of the alien types that are out there right now but the beginning of each of the player or each one of the crew phases i can rearrange this as needed as well so if i run into a situation where i might need a more defense or potentially some other aliens that i can handle i can rearrange that and as you notice there's also another panel out on the board and I can pick that up during the game and add that in and potentially rearrange things to help me even further. So from there, then I'm going to move into the crew phase where each one of the crew members gets to activate in any order that the players choose. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the mechanic and take her turn. And each crew member has three actions they can do during their turn in any combination that they want to. So she's going to spend her first action to open this door. And then her second action, she'll move in. And anytime you move into a new room with a spawn card, you're going to have to flip that over and resolve its effects. So with this one, it is going to have pods in areas 1, 2, and 3. In each room, it has those areas numbered at the bottom of the card. So here's area 1, 2, and the middle area is also 3. 
and then it also has a ripper in area three. So then she has one action remaining, so she's going to go ahead and attack that Ripper and see if she can bring him down. So she's going to roll her die and add up that number with her attack power, which is a 4, so that is 6. And then she also gets that bonus for the attack for 2 more. So that brings her up to an 8, and the Ripper's defense is 8, and she has to roll higher than that. So she was unsuccessful in bringing that Ripper down and has failed that attack. So that'll end her turn, and at this point, then I can choose another crew member to go. So I will go with the... I'm going to go with the Miner next. I'm going to move him in, and I'm going to attack one of those pods. So I'm going to roll, and it's a 6. He adds his 5 plus the additional 1 for 12. That is more than enough, as the pod's defense is 8, so I would have needed a 9 or higher, so I definitely got that. His last action, he's going to go ahead and attack that other pod that's in the room. And it's a fail with a one. All right, on to the next crew member. I will go with my bioengineer. So he's going to move one space. He'll attack that ripper and try to bring him down. It's a six. So that is definitely enough to take care of him. And his last action, he is going to... I will move one space into this panel. Now, normally, if there are active aliens in the space, you must make a roll to determine if you can evade those aliens, but pods are not going to hinder that, so you can freely move in spaces that only have pods. Finally, I'll go with my chemist, so she's going to move in, and she'll go ahead and attack that pod, try to bring that down. And she got a 4, plus her 4 for 8, plus one more for 9, which is enough to take care of that pod. So that was her second action. And her third action, she will go ahead and open this door. That finishes off the crew phase. So now we're going to move into the alien phase. So we're going to reveal the top alien card and handle all the effects. So first off, if there are any pods in there, I have to roll for those to determine what kind of alien comes out. And it is a worm. So we'll add a group of worms replacing that alien pod. Then I'm going to check to see if anything attacks the walls. So rippers and slugs will attack walls, which currently we do not have any of those aliens out there. So then I'll move down and it says the next spot is larva. So all larva move up to two areas to attack the crew. So we have the worms here and he's in, they already are in the same space as the bioengineer. So they are going to attack and the worms attack value. They get plus one or whatever they roll a three so plus one to that is a four and his defense is a three so they do hit him and they're going to do two damage to my bioengineer so he is taking damage already from there then we'll continue moving down the rippers would activate again there aren't any then the slugs there aren't any slugs either so then we'll proceed down to the bottom perform any special action which or activation, which is going to be outlined by the scenario you're playing, which currently we don't have any of those at the moment. And then it says at the end of the alien phase, all aliens are going to neomorphize again. So with this is a new feature. Again, we will add a red token underneath the alien, which these will be little clips that will go on there later. And then we're going to reveal a alien card that's going to add different features. So this is going to add plus one health and plus two damage to this worm making him really nasty and those will just slide right under the alien card for the time being we'll go ahead and discard that card and then the last phase in the round is the end of round phase where we're going to move the timer down one space on that track from there then we're ready to move into the the next round and begin with the start of round phase so again going through all of those different features we don't have any emergencies to handle yet so then we'll move into the crew phase where they can manipulate their xenobiology uh, set which i don't have anything that i want to change with that yet so then we're going to move into the crew portion of the turn where they get to activate so i get to choose my crew members to activate in what order i want to so with that i will go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and move the miner down, and I'll attack this worm here and see if I can handle him. So I got a 4, plus my 5 for 9, and I also have plus 1 bonus for that. So it is a wound, and 
due to his neomorphosized state, he has two wounds now. So that's my first one. I'm going to go ahead and attack him again. And this time I rolled a two, plus my five for seven, plus the one for eight. And the worms only have a defense of seven. So I lucked out there and was able to defeat the worm. All right, so that will finish off my miner's turn. So then we're going to move into, let's go with the mechanic's turn. So she's going to go ahead and spend her first action to close this door. And her second action, she will move... I want to move into this space here, revealing this alien card. So I have pods in areas one and two. So I'll place those. And then I have rippers in areas one and three. So I have a ripper here and a ripper in here. So that is her second action. She's got one left. So she's going to go ahead and attack a ripper and she'll attack the one over here as she does have a ranged weapon so she can target that ripper. And it's a four. So she rolls four plus four plus her two bonus is enough to take down that ripper and he is removed. The one other thing I forgot to do is when the worm went down, that was the only worm that benefit from the neomorphosized card. So that card is going to be removed and shuffled back into this deck. Okay. From there, that is the end of her turn. So then we still have our bioengineer and our chemist to go. So she's going to move up one and she'll pick up this token here. So she gets an item and she's got the flash card. So that is handy. That'll take care of that. And she's got one action remaining, so she'll move forward one space. Finally, I have my bioengineer to go. So he's going to move up one and he will attack the pod. So let's see what happens there. It's a two, so not enough. He has six, seven pods or eight, so not enough there. He's one action left. And I will go ahead and attack. I'm going to go ahead and attack the Ripper and try to bring him down before the alien turn. So there's a four. So that is enough. And the Ripper has been removed. So that will finish off our crew turn. So again, we'll reveal another alien card. With this one again, the pods are going to open up. So we have a Hydra in the first area. And a set of worms in the seconds. Okay, then rippers and larvae are going to attack the walls. Both of these guys are larvae, so they're going to attack each. So this guy first, he rolls a one plus his one, and the walls have a defense of five, so that is unsuccessful. And the other guy does a six, so he is going to damage the walls. So anytime the walls are damaged, a new emergency is going to be placed out. So I'll place that there. And then if there was any other aliens that would attack, that is it, as you can only have one emergency from wall damage each round. So then we move down, and it says the larvae are going to be the next ones. It says one larva moves up to three areas to attack a terminal. So the worm will move up and attack that terminal. It's a three, plus his one is a four, not enough to defeat the terminal. So then the hydra is going to move up. Or it's just one of the larvae, so that'll be it. Then the rippers would go, there aren't any, slugs, and then finally the aliens are going to neomorphosize again. So again, we'll add those red tokens underneath them. And draw new cards to see what kind of effects come up. So we have another plus one health for the worm. And for the hydra, he's going to add plus two to his attack roll. And he's going to do an additional damage, so we definitely want to take care of him pretty quick here as he's going to be hitting pretty hard. So that is the end of that. And then again, we'll move the marker down one space. Moving into the third round, now we do have an emergency to handle. The first couple steps we can bypass, but let's go ahead and handle the reveal. So this one is the cameras are offline, so we cannot scan the rooms with this one in action and then we'll move the marker over and so at this point then we have a couple of rounds to resolve the sequence of codes on this before it goes critical so we definitely want to do that ok 
Okay, so then it's gonna move into our crew phase. Again, we can rearrange. I'm happy with where that is at the moment. So then we'll move into the crew step with attacks or with the crew activation. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with the mechanic first as she's in a great spot to attack those aliens. She's gonna go ahead and start by trying to attack that Hydra and seeing if she can bring him down. She rolls a four plus her four, which is eight, and the Hydra's defense is seven, so she was successful and defeated that guy, and he only has one hit point. So again, then his card is removed from his area, and it's shuffled back into the deck. That was her first action. Her second action, she will, she'll go ahead and try to attack the worm. And she hits him. Now the worm has two hit points, so that is his first. And her last action, she's going to go ahead and move into that space there. Choosing my next crew member, my miner's already in a space with a terminal, so he's going to go ahead and activate that, trying to help work on that emergency. So he'll check his stat for the terminal, and he's going to roll three dice and see if he can get any of those results. All right, so we have the beaker, so I'll mark that. And that was the only thing he was able to get for the symbols, so... At least he helped a little bit, but then we have to place his marker there as each crew member can only work on, an, on each emergency one time. So that was his first action. He'll go ahead and move for his second and move for his third. Then I will go with the, let's see, I'll go with the chemist next. I'm going to move her up one, two, and then I'm going to try to handle that terminal. So with her skill, she rolls a four, or she rolls four dice on that so let's see if she can help out she does not oh man that was that was a bad roll so then she's going to mark her area or put her token there and that was her turn so then we have one we have the bioengineer left so he's going to move up one and he will move up two and let's see if he can do anything with that All right, so he was successful. He got the four dots to solve that. So there's just one symbol left and it'll be down to my mechanic to try to, to solve that one. All right, so oh, and we got a mark that he tried and then it'll go into the alien turn. So we'll reveal a new card. There aren't any pods out, so we don't have to worry about that. And there are no rippers or slugs to attack the walls yet. So then we have the larva. And it says all larvae move up to one area to attack crew. And then all larvae move up to two areas towards the closest door. So with the larva, he's going to attack the crew. And I get to choose which one. So I'm going to go after the chemist this time as she doesn't have any damage yet. And it's a three plus his one is four. And her defense is four. So she had a high enough defense that she was able to stop any damage. And then the larva would move, but he's actually close to a door already, so he doesn't have to move anywhere else. Then the rippers and slugs would go, and they there aren't any of those, and there are no additional neomorphoses that are going to happen at the end. So that is done, and we'll move the marker down one space. At this point, I'm going to take a few turns off camera, and then we'll be back to see how our crew is doing. All right, so we're back at it, and our crew has had a rough time. They've had to split up to try to gather some of these things and be able to flip those switches to unlock that door, which they've accomplished. But in the process, they've run into some problems. So first off, at the beginning of the turn, we're going to have to deal with this emergency that's going to go critical, as all of them have attempted it, but were unsuccessful in getting that last symbol that they needed to finish that one off. So that is going to cause one of the sectors to be compromised, and we're going to find out with that it's going to be Sector 5, which is going to be this room here. So let's go ahead and move back into the game and see how things are going. So first off, we're going to deal with that as it is going to go critical. So instead, we're going to remove this panel here and replace that with a warning hull damage. And then Sector 5 is going to be this sector here. So we're going to place a compromised token in there as well as a warning and damage token. From there, all of the characters in here are going to take three damage unless they're immune to a compromised state due to the life support system, which right now the miner is not, so he's going to take three damage from that. So I'll place a damage token on him. 
the enemies do not suffer damage from that. All right, then we're working our way down. Our new one has not been revealed yet, so we don't have to move the marker down on that one. And then we'll give this these back to the individual players. From there, then we're going to check our compromise sector, which is this one here. And unfortunately, with that one, it is also open due to the door. So we're going to have another emergency come out. So our emergencies are building up on us. From there, then we'll flip over those emergencies and deal with them. So the first one is a motor failure. So the remote control doors are not working at the moment. So we'll block that off and mark that. And then the next one is a energy drop. And this one is for electrical feedback. Oh, that was not good. We, can, we could have definitely used some of that. So we're gonna have to handle those as soon as we can. From there, then, none of our crew have been knocked out yet, but they've taken some damage. They're, they're still holding on pretty well, though. And so then we'll move into the crew turn. I did end up getting the mechanic to pick up that extra panel, so we can start using that at this point. We do have a slug out, so I would like to use that to boost that. But when I place it here, it has to be true for each connection so with this one it doesn't line up so i have to move this and change it around so let's see what do i want to do here i will i'm going to move this down and then i'll connect that one there and I'll connect this one here. That way I keep my bonuses for my attack on the Reapers, or the Rippers, and I won't get any, I'll get one bonus on defense against them as well. So that'll hopefully help out there, but I also get that plus one attack bonus on Slugs. All right, then we're gonna move into the crew's turn. We're gonna have to figure out how we wanna do this with the crew. So I think I'm gonna start out with my bioengineer as he's at a location with a terminal he's gonna go ahead and activate that and try to work on that panel. So let's go ahead and roll and see how he does. Okay, so we have all three. He ended up completing it all in one shot. So that has been cleared and electrical feedback is back and ready to go. That was a good roll on his part. Okay, so then his second action, he is going to try to make an attack roll on the slug there. So let's go ahead and see how he does. It's a three plus four, and he gets an additional one for that, but unfortunately it's not enough as that just ties with the defense of the uh, slug. So then his last action, he is going to try to help out the miner. So he's going to try to activate the terminal and do that electrical feedback and see if he's successful in that. If he is, then he could do a wound. So one of those worms that are in there, all right, so I've got the symbol I need there, and I've got some pips, so I do take care of that and deal damage to that guy there. So that was very helpful. So that'll end his turn. So then I'll go and do the ke chemist. So she's going to attack the slug and see if she can do any damage to it. That's a miss. So her second action, she'll attack again. Another miss. Not good. Uh, what do I want to do? I have one action left. Oh, um, I will. I'm going to go ahead and try to do an electrical feedback as well on her terminal. And she is also successful, so she'll take out that other group of worms there to help out the miner. And that'll end her turn. So then we're down with the mechanic and the miner to go. So the miner is going to get out of that sector and close the door for his first two actions. And then, let's see, I will, I think I'm just going to move up one more space into that area. Then the mechanic's going to go, so she is going to move one. And she's going to try to control the robot or the drone there. So she needs just one pip to do so, and she got it. So with the with the drone, 
he can move up to three areas and then do one action, whether it is a open or closed door or a repair. And the nice thing about the robot is that he auto repairs whatever he's working on. So with him being behind a closed door right now, I'm going to go ahead and open that door as his first part of his action. And then I'm going to go ahead and move. And again, he can move up to three areas. So I'm going to move him there to work on that once he once we activate him again. So that was her second action. So then her third action... I am going to go ahead and move her one more space into there. All right, so that is the end of the crew turn. So then we'll go into the alien activation. So first off, there aren't any pods out to deal with. And then larva and slugs. So the slug is going to attack the walls. And slugs have a plus two. And it's a four, so not enough for that. And then we have the rippers and slugs. So it says all slugs move up to two areas to attack crew, and then they attack closed doors in route. So it is already in a space with a crew member, so she, he's gonna go ahead and attack. And he definitely hits for four damage. So my chemist is hurting. She's up to six, two more, and she is going to be knocked out. And there aren't any closed doors right now that are adjacent to him, so he's not going to do any attacks there. And then finally, he's going to neomorphosize. So we'll go ahead and place a red tab underneath him and we'll find out what he gets. And we'll draw a card. So he has plus one on his, uh, on his damage. So now he's gonna do five damage when he attacks. So we definitely want to handle that. The one other thing I wanna point out is when a alien neomorphosizes, if that alien had taken wounds, so if I would have done only one damage to him, he would actually heal that during the Neomorphosis. That's why when I got down to the last action or whatever, I didn't want to attack because even if I would have wounded him, it wouldn't have really helped me as I, I kind of figured a lot of the cards have that effect. So he was gonna, his odds of Neomorphosizing were really good. So I didn't want to do that just yet. Okay, so that is the end of the alien turn. Then the end of the round, we'll move the, the, the marker down again. And we're moving into a new round. So again, we're going to check. There aren't any uh, emergencies that are going to go critical. So then I'll move this down as the next part. Checking the compromise sector. It is sealed off, so it won't cause any more mayhem at the moment. So then we are going to be back into the crew phase with the... Uh, Xenobiology, and I don't really want to change that around just yet. I think we're pretty good with where it is. So at this point, then it is back into the crew turn to decide how we want to handle things. So I think I will go with... I think I'm going to try the bioengineer first, and I'll go ahead and try that terminal to do that, that electrical feedback again. And this time I was unsuccessful as I, all I got was the pips. So his second action, I'm going to go ahead and try to work on that emergency. And I've got the beaker. I've got that one. So I've got two there. And what else do I got? I have that symbol. So, man, he is on fire right now. He almost took care of that one single-handedly as well. So excellent rolls for the bioengineer, that's that's what he's here, here for. Okay, so that was the second action. I have one more, so I could either try to do a regular attack on the slug, or I could try to do another electrical feedback. I think I'll just go ahead and try my luck and roll again. So let's see if I can get it. I do not, so he is done with his turn. All right. Um, Let's go with the chemist next. So she's going to attack the slug. She'll just do her basic attacks. And we'll see if she gets lucky. So that is a miss. I need to get at least a four with, the, with these characters. So second attack. There it is. I got one wound on him at least. And for my third action, what do I want to do? I will... I might as well try to get him again, since she is one of the few that can actually reach him at this point. Oh, there it is. All right. So the slug has been taken out. So that'll go back, and we will remove his card. And then I'll shuffle those back in. Okay. So that'll end her turn, and then we are on to... 
I will go with, let's go with the miner next. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up this and get a new item. So he finds a instruction pad, so that'll be good. And I'll place that down on his area. And that was his first action. His second action, let's see. I will move. In his third action, I'm going to close that door because it's just a good idea to close doors behind you uh, to make sure that they are sealed off if there happens to be another compromised sector. All right, then I have the engineer or the uh, mechanic next or, or last at this point. So she is going to, I'm going to go ahead and do a build action there, try to construct something that might be handy to us. And it's a fail. She only got a total of, she adds her thing together with the roll. So that's a five. And neither one of the things that are left are going to help her. So she's going to try one more time. And she got a three. So that's a seven. So she could build the max shield. So she's going to go ahead and do that. And this is a single use and it'll stop all damage on an attack. So that's definitely handy as she's already taken a little bit of damage there. Okay, so that was her second action. So she's going to go ahead and move up for her third, and that will finish off her turn. So then we'll move into the alien's turn. So let's go ahead and flip a card and see what we have here. Okay, so with this one, we don't have any aliens out currently, but it also does say that you perform a special activation if there are any. With this particular scenario, once the doors are, the door has been unlocked, there's a new sequence that happens with any time that comes up, there are some random spawns of aliens. So with this one, I'm going to roll a random dice for the sector and place a new worm in there. And there's going to be two of those that are going to come out. So the first one will go into sector two. So that is going to be the main room. And the second one will go into sector one. So that's going to be this one here. So that door is closed already. So let's we'll find out what happens with that. All right, so that is the end of the alien's turn. Then I'll move the marker down one space, and then we'll begin a new turn. So right away, we're going to move that down. So we only have one round left to solve that before that one goes critical. And we don't have any crew members that are out yet or anything else to handle. Our sector is sealed off, so we don't have to worry about that. So we're going to move into the crew turn. And do I want to change anything around? I don't have any slugs right now, so that might be something to do. Um, what do I want to do here? So I, yeah, I think I will. I'm going to go ahead and take this away and I'm going to move this over here and that'll give me at least a plus one on my attack rolls against the worms. So I'll make it a little easier for them to go down. All right, back into my turn. So I'm going to go ahead and start with, let's go ahead and start with the mechanic. She's going to go ahead and attack that worm that's in front of her. And she rolls a three plus her four, so it's a seven. And she got that bonus one for eight, and that is just enough. So it definitely came in handy that we moved that around to get that extra plus one in there. So that was her first action. Her second action, she'll go ahead and move forward. And her third action, she's going to go ahead and step forward one more time and trigger this room here. All right, so we've got pods in areas one and two. So let me see those. There's two and one. And then there's going to be a ripper in area one. So he's up here. And then we have a slug in area three. Oh, well, almost paid off. But then I changed that around. So I still have the bonus on the slug. So we're good there. All right. Okay, so her turn is done. Then it is, let's see who I want to go with next. I will do... I'm going to go with the bioengineer. So first off, he's going to try to activate the drone. So let's go ahead and do that. He is successful. So the drone is going to repair that door for its action. And then I will... What do I want to do with him after that? Do I want to keep him there? I will... I think I'll move him in with me. So I'm going to move him on up here. Okay. So that was the first action. My second action, I will, I'm going to move out into this area here and 
I'll go ahead and use my third action to use the stim pack on the doctor or the chemist as she is hurting pretty badly. So that'll heal five wounds off of her. So that'll help keep her around for a little while longer. Okay, that is his turn. So then I have just the chemist and the miner left. I got some aliens in there to start dealing with. This is, this is getting a little hairy here. Uh, and I still have that other thing to do. So I'm going to go ahead and go with her. And I'm going to try to do that repair on the emergency. And I got it. So that's good. That emergency has been averted for now. This will be removed. And that is clear. So that was her first action. Her second action, let's go ahead and try electrical feedback. And she did not get it, so that was a wasted action. Her final action, she's gonna go ahead and close that door and get that area closed off. So then we are over to the miner to go, and he's gonna go ahead and try that nail gun. He's gonna spend a bullet to do that. The nail gun gives him a plus five. It, it does have a range of one and it does two damage, which is really big. I could get that slug out of there in one shot. So let's see if I can pull it off here. It's a one. Oh no. So one plus five is six and I get the one bonus, but not enough to take care of the slug. So I'm gonna try it one more time as I definitely wanna take care. I wanna hopefully get rid of that slug and it's a six. All right, so that will finish off the slug. Unfortunately, that also takes care of the nail gun, so that will be removed as it is out of rounds. And that was his second action he took a shot with. So he's got one action remaining. And I'm going to go ahead and move forward and play a little bit of defense here. Okay, so then it is into the alien's turn. So let's see what they do here. So first off, we're going to see how those pods come out. The first one is a Hydra. And the second one is another Hydra. So we got two Hydras to deal with. All right. And then the Larva and Rippers are going to attack the walls. So we have plenty of them. So this one first has a plus one. So it needs a four better. It got it right away. So we're going to have a new emergency out there. Then that is going to take care of that. So then the Larva, it says all Larva move up to two areas and attack the closest terminal. So this guy's gonna move here and attack that terminal. And he damages it, so we'll flip that one over. Then we have this guy here, he's gonna attack that one. And that terminal's down. And then they move up to two areas. So this one will move one, two, towards that other terminal there. That's all those guys that are done. So then the rippers, it says all rippers move up to two areas to attack the crew and attack the closest door and route. So that door is there. So he's going to attack that first. And it's a four. So that door has been opened and damaged. And then he's going to move one, two, and he will attack the miner. So let's see what happens there. And it's a hit. So the miner is going to take... Uh, three damage. So that'll put the miner up to six. He's got three more hit points to go. All right. And then finally slugs. There aren't any at the moment. And then everybody's going to neomorphize. So let's do the worms in here. The hydras. And the ripper. Okay. Let's see what happens. So first off with the worms, they get plus one attack and plus one damage. Then the Hydras are gonna get plus two attack and plus one damage. And finally, the Ripper is going to get plus one health and plus two damage. Oh man, that's nasty. Okay, and that will finish off the enemy's turn. So then we'll move the marker down. The rounds are counting down and time is running out here. We need to do some stuff. All right, so that will be the end of that turn. Moving into the next turn. So at this point, I think I'm gonna take a couple more turns off camera and then we'll come back to finish the game.
Okay, so we're back and our crew is doing okay, but we have that worm that's still causing all kinds of mayhem in there. He busted the terminal, busted the door, and he caused a new emergency. So the very first thing we're going to do is turn that over. And so this one is a fire suppression failure. So with that, that is going to stop the halon system. And it's going to, it's a little bit more of a complicated one to solve. All right, so then we're going to move on down. We don't have any crew that have been taken out yet, and there aren't anything else to deal with there. And our compromise sector is still sealed, so we're okay with that. Then the xenobiology, I was able to shift that around and really take out a couple of the, the rippers that showed up. But at this point, um, I think I'm going to leave it there for the time being. All right, so then it is into our crew phase. So... How do I want to do this? We're running out of time and I need to start moving my crew forward. So let's go ahead and start with the bioengineer and he is going to try to activate the drone. So he needs one pip to do that and he got it. So the drone, what do I want to do with him? I want to move him forward one, two and repair this door. So that'll be the first action. My second action, I will go ahead and try to open a door. So in order to do that, I need to get a beaker. And I got it. So I got the beaker. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this door here. That'll give me my open passage to that area. And that was my second action. So I got one more to go and I will Let's see what else I want to do. I am going to, I'm going to go ahead and try to remote control another door and try to close off one of these other rooms. And he failed this time. There was no beaker that came up. So that is all he can do. All right, then I will go with my, I'm going to go with my mechanic next, I think. So I'm going to move her forward one. And... Let's see, what do I, how do I want to handle this? So um, I'll move forward again and pick up this token here. And she found a toolkit that's going to give her a plus one to a mechanic check. I don't know if we're going to use that at this point, but at least she has it. All right, so that was her second action, and she has one more to go. I think I'm going to go back here and just hold out there next to that terminal if she is needed. Then I'm gonna go with my chemist and I'm gonna move her forward one. So as soon as she moves into here, this room actually has nine pods in it and this is part of the scenario. So I'll place those in here and I'm short one. So I'm gonna just place another token in there upside down. Okay, so that was her first action. Her second action, she is going to, she'll move again. And do I risk going in there? Yeah, let's do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put her in here. We'll flip this over and we're gonna get two more pods. So again, I'm out of them. So I'm just gonna use regular tokens. And then there's a ripper in area one and a slug in area three. That's not good. <laughs> oh boy. All right, so that is the end of her turn. So all we have left is the miner to go. And he does have this nail blaster, which could be really useful for clearing out a room. But I don't know if I want to use it there or somewhere else just yet, especially since it is going to cause an emergency when it goes off. And I still have to roll, even though it has a really high value, I have to be careful on what I roll with it. So let's go ahead and move up. And I'm going to go ahead and try uh, an electrical feedback and try to help out the chemist in there. So I need to get... I got that, and I got that. So I ended up getting the electrical feedback. I'm going to go ahead and take out that ripper with the terminal. So that was his second action. His third action, he's going to move forward one more space. 
All right, then that is the end of the cruise turn. So then we'll go ahead and flip over a card. So first off, all of our pods are going to open up potentially. So I'm gonna go ahead and start and just work my way down the column. So this first column, it is a set of worms. Next, we have a Hydra and another set of worms. Okay, moving on. The next set is more worms and another Hydra, more worms, I'm running out of worms here, <laughs> more worms. Okay, and more worms. So at this point, I'm out of worms. So I'm going to have to continue rolling and see if I get either the Hydra or a blank. So Hydra instead. So every egg is popped so far. I have not gotten any luck at all. And the last one is another Hydra. And then I've got the two eggs in room in the sector eight. So another Hydra and another set of worms, which we're out of, and another Hydra. So Hydra's all around as well. Then the rippers and slugs are gonna attack the wall, so it's just the slug that'll attack, and it misses. Then we have the larva, so all larva are gonna move up to one area to attack crew, then all larva move up to two areas towards the closed, closest door. Okay, so we've got all kinds of problems here. All right, so I'm going to start here with this Hydra on that on the Chemist. And the Hydras have plus one attack, and she has a defense of four, so it needs to get at least a four better to do a wound to her. So it missed. The second one here will move. And it also misses. So let's go ahead and pile them in here. So then this one, the worm will move up. And there are bonuses for enemies that are grouped together. So with the these worms, the irregular worms, so, so it says if there are two or more worms in the same area when they attack a terminal, their attack value is increased by one. So right now they're not. And the regular worms do not benefit from this. It's just the worm that has the red disc underneath it. So this first guy is going to go again, same thing. He needs a four better. He misses. So then the Hydra is going to move in there and do the same. That's a miss as well. Then this set of worms, there's a hit. So that is going to be two more damage onto the chemist. So she's up to three now. So it's a good thing I healed her before. All right, then uh, these guys will move forward. And finally, these guys will move up. So I've got one on the miner. He missed the second one on the miner is also a miss and the hydro will move forward again the drone cannot be attacked so that's why they're moving forward on that all right so that is all of the larva then we have this guy here so he is going to move forward and attack uh, he can't attack yet because he's not in range so then it will and then they move up to two areas towards a closed door. So then he is gonna move into here because that'll get him there. And then they are going to move forward towards that closed door as well. That'll bring these guys into that room and that will bring these guys back out into this room here. Okay, then moving on down, we don't have any rippers at the moment. So then these slugs, all slugs are going to move up to two areas and attack crew. And they attack closed doors and route, which there aren't any at the moment. So then the slug is going to attack and he misses. I got lucky there because he would have done four damage and that would have almost taken my chemist down. Okay, so that is the end of the alien activation. So then end of round, we'll move the timer down again. And we're beginning a new round at this point, so this is going to tick down one more. And then it is into our cruise turn. We've got all kinds of Hydras. Unfortunately, the Hydras, I don't have a combination right now that's going to help me with them. And if they're in a group together, they actually get a plus one on their defense, so it's going to be a little harder to take them down on top of it. 
So, but I do want to switch out and bring this back in to get that plus one bonus against the slug at least so that I can start working on him. And I still have that plus one bonus there and I think that's the best I can do for that. Yeah, so I will, yep, yeah, I think that'll be it for that. All right, then it is into the crew to go. So let's start out with, I'm going to go ahead and start off with uh, my bioengineer attacking the group of worms there. Try to get them out of here. He does hit, so that'll finish them off before they can cause any more problems. And that was his first action. Second action, he is going to move forward one. And his third action, he will attack. And I'll go after another group of worms as their roll isn't too hard. So I got another group. And that'll finish his turn. So then it is into, let's go with the, let's go with the mechanic next. So she's going to go ahead and do a ranged attack on that group of worms. That is a hit. So that one goes down. She'll go after the hydras there. That's also a hit, so that'll be a Hydra gone. And let's see, we'll go and target target one of those Hydras up there. So this is going to be a little harder. She needs a 5 or better, and she misses. So then it is into my Miner's turn. So the Miner is going to... What do I want to do here? Ooh, so this is the dilemma. I could I could throw that nail blaster in here and clear the room, but it is going to cause an explosion, which anytime you cause an explosion, you're going to add a new emergency to the board. And then it is also going to cause the robot to go up, who will explode as well. So, oh boy. That's a problem. Um, so I don't think I'm going to go with him just yet. Let's go with the chemist first. And she's in there with that slug. So she's going to go ahead and attack the slug. And that's a miss. She gets... That's eight. Yeah, so she needed at least a four to do that. So let's go again. That's a miss as well. And her last action is a hit. So she got one hit on it. And I'm hoping that it doesn't neomorphize, otherwise that is going to be a waste. Okay, so then the miner is the only one left, so either I can squash some enemies and hope for the best, or I can truck that that my or the the nail bomb. I think I'm going to play it safe. I don't think that's a good idea right now. That could really cause some problems. So I'm just going to go ahead and swing. I'm going to go after the first hydra, try to get that one out of the way and make it a little easier for the other one. It's a two, seven, not enough. So I'm going to go ahead and attack again. That time I definitely got enough. So that Hydra has been eliminated and I got one more attack and I will go after, I'm going to go after that other Hydra and try to bring that one down. And that is also a miss. Okay. So definitely a rough round. We are into the alien turn, so let's see how bad it's going to get for me. Uh, first off, there aren't any eggs, so that's a good thing. Next, we got wall attacks, and the, it's everybody attacking walls. So let's just work our way down. So the very first group, it's a hit, so don't have to roll very far for that one. All right, so then it's on to the rippers. We don't have any out currently, and then the slug. The slug moves up to two areas to attack a terminal, and then all slugs move into the two areas to attack crew and close doors and route. So it's going to move here first to attack the terminal. And it gets a 2 plus 2 is 4. So it doesn't get enough to hit the terminal. So then it's going to move back and attack the crew. This time it does hit her. So she's going to take 4 more damage, right? Yep. 4 more. That brings her up to 7. She, she's 1 away from going down. Okay, and then that is, and there's no closed closed doors in route, and then everything is going to neomorphize. So I don't think I have enough tokens for all of the aliens. 
So I'm just going to have to keep track of those. I got to clear this first because that one was eliminated. So I'll put that back and shuffle these back up. Okay. And then let's see how bad it's going to get for us. So I'll start with the worms. And they get plus one on their attack. So could have been worse. That's not too bad. So let me place markers under them. And I'll have to sub in some markers here because I don't have enough for all these guys. And let's do the Hydra next. And we'll just... I'll remember all these Hydra are affected. And then the Slug lasts. And he will heal his wounds. So with the Hydra, they're going to get plus one damage. Okay, and there's plenty of those guys there. And then finally, we have plus two attack and plus one damage for the Slug. So he just got a lot nastier. Okay, uh, that'll be the end of that. So then the end of the round, this will tick down one. And that is, oh, yeah, that's all we had there. So I got lucky they didn't attack. <laughs> that would have been really bad. Okay, so moving into the next round, this is going to tick down. So we have to we have to solve that one this round, otherwise that's going to cause some problems. We have to reveal a new one. So this one is the cameras are offline. So this is going to stop us from scanning rooms, and then that'll go into play. And... Do I want to change this around at all? I don't think at this point. Yeah, I think at this point I'm good. Well, let me see. I don't need the eggs anymore. So is there some other thing that I could do that's going to help more? I've got a couple of defenses for the worms. And... I could just get a Hydra, but right now we don't have those. Uh, like I said, in the in the base game, there's going to be more of these that are available, so you'll you'll have different combinations to work with. All right, so at this point, I think I'm going to leave it there, as there's not much else I can do that's going to help me at the moment. So then, back into my crew's turn, I will. I'm going to move the bioengineer forward one, two spaces, and then I'm going to activate that terminal and try to activate the drone. Well, maybe not. Maybe I, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and work on this instead because he's one of my big guys, so I definitely need to try to help with him. Okay, so let's see what we got here. We've got those two symbols there. So I'll take care of those two. And he got the three pips. So he almost solved that in one roll. And he has been he has been on target this game with that. He has been really doing well with those checks. Okay, so that is the end of his turn. So let's move into let's go with the mechanic next. So she's gonna go ahead and try to activate the drone. So she just needs one pip to do it, and she fails. I'm gonna try it a second time. All right, I got it. So the drone can move. I'm going to move him one, two, and close this door behind me, getting ready to try to activate some of that stuff. Okay, so that was her second action. So the third, she's going to go ahead and attack, and I'm going to go after that set of worms there. And it's a hit, so they have been eliminated, and I'll just take this and place that under one of the Hydra so I don't have to keep track of all that. All right, so then her turn is done. The miner is next. So I'm going to go and attack that Hydra that's in my space. And it is a hit, so that one is down. So I'll move this over. And I'm going to go ahead and try that nail buster. All right, so I'm going to roll and see if I can do some damage here. Oh, just barely. All right, so it goes in and it goes off. And it kills, it deals four damage to everything that it hits in there, which I rolled high enough that everything's going to be damaged. So all of these guys are toast, which is great news for that. Unfortunately, the bad news with that is that it is going to damage these doors. So both of these are going to be opened up again. 
and I'm going to have to fix them. And it's going to add a new emergency to the board. So I am full on emergencies now. So I really, really need to handle that. So he attacked and then threw the, uh, the bomb. So he's going to go ahead and try to repair that terminal. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and roll. And it's a four. So he does repair it. So that is has been removed. And we'll just have to close that afterwards. Okay, um, all right, and at this point, man, okay, so I am going to need to try to do a, I'm going to have to try to do a move to get away from that slug, and I need at least a five to do it. So I'm going to try first to move. And I got it. Oh, man. So she was able to get evade the, the slug, and that'll get her into this terminal. That was huge. So then she is going to try to handle that emergency. So let's see if she gets it. She just needs a beaker. And she did not get the beaker, but she does have a flash card. So I am going to use it at this point. And it says I can change a programming die to a symbol of my choice. So I'm going to go ahead and switch this one over to that beaker and solve that particular emergency and that will clear that at least that way then we have a little bit of leeway if the aliens attack the walls or something that won't end in a game over all right so then i'm going to go ahead and slide this one up and move that one up and that takes care of the halon system and for those of you that are wondering what the halon system is with that one you'd have to we i would have needed to pick this up and install it and then i can activate it with a terminal and what it does is it would take care of all the aliens in a room unfortunately it does not work in sectors seven and eight so i didn't want to risk trying to get it and figure everything out especially with all the stuff that was going on in that room at that point but that's so you guys know how that works okay so then that is her second action so she's got one more action to go oh boy what is she what can she do with one more action um so she's going to go ahead and try to activate the drone and she does so he's going to go ahead and repair this door and i'm going to keep him in that room okay so that takes care of all of that so then it is into the aliens turn so we're going to see what happens here so first off we have the aliens there aren't any pods next the larva and ripper are going to attack walls there aren't any of those there are no larva there are no rippers but the slug there is slug so it says one slug moves up to two areas to attack a terminal so it's going to go ahead and move into here and attack that terminal and it definitely damages it and then it says, then all slugs move into two areas to attack crew. Attack closed doors and route. We don't have any closed doors, so it is going to attack my chemist. And it hits. So she is going to go down. And I'll put her recover token on there. And she goes down. So that is problematic. Okay, and that is the only slug out there. So that is the end of the round. And this moves down. We're closing in here and it is back into the top of the round okay so with that anytime a crew member goes down the the xenobiology also does not work so from this point on until that crew member is back up we cannot use any bonuses from that so next i'm going to go ahead and tick this one down and reveal this one so what's this one got so this is electrical feedback so that has been disabled and that will bring that in there okay uh then the crew member she gets to start recovering so she can't do anything this round but the next round she'll come back in so i'll go ahead and clear that health just for now and then it is into the crew phase so our crew has to figure out what they're going to do here so I'm going to go ahead and start with the mechanic. She's going to try to activate the panel and activate the drone. So she needs one pip. She got it. So he's going to activate. He will go ahead and move down here and repair this terminal. 
And her second action, she will try to... She is going to... She'll go ahead and try to close this door with that one. So she needs a beaker to do that. And she got it. So she'll go ahead and remotely close that door. And then her last action, she will move forward one space. I'm going to go with the miner next. So, well... Actually, I should probably go with the bioengineer. So he's going to move one, two, three spaces. And I'm going to go with the miner. So he'll move one. He's going to close that door. And then he'll move forward one space as well. And then that is it for my crew. So I'll go ahead and activate the alien. Again, we don't have anything there. The rippers and larva, so no wall attacking. Moving our way down, we do have slugs. So all slugs are going to move up to one area to attack crew. So he's going to move forward one space. And then he's going to attack all closed doors in route. So well, currently there aren't any closed doors to worry about. And then all aliens neomorphosize in the regular mode. He won't neomorphosize anymore as he doesn't have, or he already has one assigned. But if you're playing the hardcore mode, you can actually add additional cards. So they continue to build nastier and nastier as time goes on if you don't deal with them. So that's also another thing to keep in mind with that. Okay, so that is the end of the round. We're moving the, the marker down. We are down to the wire here. And so moving into the next round, this is going to go down. So that is going to go critical next round. That one moves down. And our chemist is back up. So she's going to come back into it. And that is everything there. Again, our sector is contained, so we're good. And we're back into our crew's turn. So our xenobiology is active again. And it's going to give us that, that little bit of help, hopefully. So there's not much else to do with that at the moment. So it's back into our crew's turns. So I'm going to go ahead and do the bioengineer first. He's going to attack that slug. And right now it does still have the two health. So let's see if he's lucky. He does. He hits it. That's one. And let's go ahead and try it again. So seconds, he misses. And third, he's going to move forward. Okay. Then I will go with my... Miner, so he's going to move in, so that's his first. He'll attack for his second. That's a four, and that is a hit, so the slug has been eliminated. So that'll take him out and clear that. And then, so that was his second action, so he's going to move forward one to get ready to get that pass. Well, no, let's go ahead and close the door instead. That way, then, that sector has been contained. Okay, then I will go with my chemist. She's going to move one, two, and pick up that pass. Getting ready for next round to open that door, hopefully. And then I will go with the mechanic. She's going to move here and try to do electrical, or uh, try to solve that one and see how we do here. So she got the one symbol there. And the other one, so she got two out of the three, but unfortunately that is not enough, so that is going to go critical. I ran out of options to handle that, and so that is the end of my crew turn, the alien turn. We have no aliens out right now, but there is a special activation, so again, based on this scenario, we are going to have another alien come out in a random sector, again, one through six, and it is going to be sector six. So that is going to be in her sector there. We'll put it in the, let's go roll randomly. So doubling up and dividing by two. So it is a going into, sec, into the area two, so it is in with her and that is the end of that. So then the end of the round, this is going to move down one space. And then we are going into the next step. So at this point, this is going to go critical. The This is sector four. So sector four is going to be compromised, which is this big one here. It is not closed off. So it is going to cause an, another emergency. So I will go ahead and shuffle this back up. And 
deal out another one. And then this one's going to go down, so I'll just move that up. Well, actually, no, I won't because I have to mark that as a critical. And that is going to cause another emergency to come into play. So we definitely have to handle that alien before the alien turn. Because if he attacks the walls, that is game over. And then finally, we're going to go ahead and reveal it. So we have electrical feedback. So we still are, we're doubling down on that electrical feedback. And then that one comes out. So again, we have one more turn to solve that. But... Okay, so again, back into the crew turn. I'm good there, and I will go ahead and start off with her, the mechanic, first. So I'm going to go ahead and attack that alien, and it's a hit. So he has been eliminated for my first action. My second action, I'm going to go ahead and try to work on that that most the more critical emergency, and she was unsuccessful with that. And she might as well do the second one there as well. And she did work on that one a little bit. She got one of the symbols on there. So that helped that one a little bit. All right. Then I'm going to... Might as well just go with my chemist. So she's going to move one, two. And she's going to go ahead and use the pass to open that door and that is the game. So she was able to pull it off in the end. But as you could see, it was going down to the wire. If I wouldn't have solved that at the beginning of the next round, obviously that would have gone off and caused another compromised sector. We needed to close this. Otherwise, that sector would have triggered. So things were looking really grim there. But we were able to get the pass and open the door to stabilize the ventilation systems. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. As always, if you have any questions or comments, leave those in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. Or swing back to the Kickstarters page and drop any questions you have there as well. I'm sure the creators would love to hear from you and are more than happy to answer any questions you have. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos and leave me feedback on them. I do appreciate it and I take into account everything you guys say to make the best possible videos. And until next time, I'll see you later.